I'm going to replace, nope, I'm going to install a mainspring in this Hamilton pocket watch. And I know it doesn't have a mainspring because I took it out to do this video. It's a uh, 974, 17 joule. So I already put the hands at 12 for a reason. And now I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna pull this like, crown out. Ugh! Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna take the screws out for the case first. Let's see. One screw. Whoops. Yeah, I started doing my own mainsprings because uh, it's a lot cheaper than sending them to the jeweler. And uh, the tools I bought, they paid for themselves already compared to what I would have paid the jeweler. And at first I tried to install them by hand. And uh, that was... Uh, that was hard to do and it was a pain in the ass and uh, I said screw this I'm better off buying a tool and once you use the tool you know it's so easy uh, of course the screws don't want to cooperate while I'm making a video they worked out good when I took it apart earlier I got the screws out let's see if I can uh, push the movement out without much grief. Uh, what am I going to use? I use the back of this. Oh, good. It falls out. Oh, I lost the crystal. Damn. That's too bad. Oh well. I got my stand here. Oh yeah, this, uh, this watch has a, uh, a dust cover on it. It's nice to see a dust cover on a on a watch. I've only seen them on 16 and 18 size, but uh, that's what that is going around the perimeter. Dust cover. I'm going to take that off too now. That just slides off. Okay, where am I? So I'm going to put the put it down like this, so I can uh, don't mess up the hands. So now I'm going to. I'm going to take this off first for the, uh, what's that, the winding wheel, I think, I don't know. I'm going to unscrew that first. And, oh, let me get that in the way. So I got my uh, plastic uh, fruit container cap that I use for watch parts now. And this just comes off. I never like to touch the parts with my fingers because the sweat and oil from your hands will cause the steel to rust and I don't want rusty steel so take out one screw loosen the next one ah they're pre-loosened because I did this earlier that makes a big difference Hey, got the screws out. Well, this is kind of far away, isn't it? I wonder if I can zoom it in. Let's zoom it in a little bit. So I'm going to remove the screws. Three of them. And this watch, they got little, uh, well, you can see, little uh, slots for prying off the, uh, the plates. This one has two. So I'm gonna stick it in there and stick it in the other one. So it's loose and I just take it with my tweezers and I lift it off. So there's the movement with the one plate gone. Let me put this back down. So as you can see the uh, the mainspring barrel here and there's the center wheel and third wheel. So I'm gonna take this out. And there's the barrel. It made the nice look, uh, the back look real nice. So you can see there's two uh, holes there. Let's see, one hole is uh, for the clearance on the uh, the mainspring, and the other hole is to pry the cover off. 
I'm going to do that now. And then I forgot to, I got to see which way this mainspring goes in. Jeez, oh, I think it goes, I'm going to write this down so I don't forget. Looks like the main spring goes like this. I think so. Well, I hope so. Anyway, let me zoom out now. So I got the barrel. I'm going to put this aside. I got my main spring over here, which I took out. You see, you got to get this big thing in there. And this has got a T end. I don't know if you can see that. Because the end is like a T. The two little studs, so that's a T end. And uh, here's my tools, my winding tools. Let me zoom all the way out. Oh, I mean, okay, I got the. Uh, this is for pocket watches, my Marshall winder. It's in the box. And there's the. Uh, the different sizes for the different barrels. This is for pocket watches, so I got six sizes. And then this one here, let's see if we can get the layer. This is a, another mainspring winder. This is for uh, wrist watches. You can see there's a big difference in size. Look how tiny those are compared to the other one. This one does those uh, ladies' watches, the real tiny ladies' watches, and then wrist watches. This is nice. So I'm gonna pick a uh, pick a winder that fits inside the barrel. Let me take this out. Yeah. So I'm gonna pick the biggest one that fits in there. That's not not big enough. I should have pre-selected this so I don't waste time. Well, maybe it takes the biggest one. Yeah. So it looks like it takes the biggest winder. Okay, then I gotta install. Yeah, this thing's got little, uh, I don't know if you can see the little pins. Let me rotate it this way. Where are those little pins? Yeah, you see the two little pins for two different sizes, you know, size mainsprings. And the neat thing about this, if the pins ever snap off, which they happen to me, there's two holes in the back that you just push out some new material and you're ready to go. So, let's see, this piece attaches onto here and uh, I'll put that aside and I have the mainspring. Now I want to wind up the mainspring like this. I have to push it in like that. Ah, I should have done this ahead of time. Whoops, that was the computer. So that means it's got to go inside the watch like that. And if it goes in the watch like that I have to push it in like that, so I have to. I'm pretty sure I gotta put it in like this. So I just put it on there. And it's not all the way in. Ah, this thing slides. It doesn't want to go all the way down. Okay, come on. There you go. I hope I didn't break anything when I did that. Okay, I take this and I uh, make the two together. I get the mainspring to start. Oh, okay. And then you just wind it in. Not the cut. Wind it in, wind it in, wind it in. And then I just it relaxes. This is where I usually break the little pins off when I try to get this out. Well, let's see if I can do get it out. Come on, come on. Yeah, I got it out. Let's see if I have it right, if I drew the right picture. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So I got my barrel, and there's a little hole. Well, you can see the hole better on this side. Yeah, that little hole, that's where the TN goes in, so you have to line it up. <laughs> 